smells sweet, which is good, I think. It smells so good. Oh my God, this is amazing. I really wear. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not very good. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Where is Nico? In this episode, I'm gonna show you some of the best street food in China. Chokes, I'm not actually in China at all. I'm in Bangkok. Can you believe it? Now, obviously, you know that I love China. I've been living there for over two and a half years. So when I heard that Bangkok had a Chinatown, I thought, let's go and see if it's as authentic as the real thing. have Chinatown. So what makes Bangkok so special? Well, for starters, it's the largest Chinatown in the world. But I want to find out what else makes this place so unique. So I spotted these delicious looking noodles from across the street and I knew that I wanted to try them. So we headed off into the side street to give them a whirl. I've gone for noodle wonton with roasted pork and it smells so good. You can get them with or without soup. I've gone for without soup, and it's this cute little portion, which is great because I want to try so much more food on this stream. So we've got some noodles in here, a bit of pork, a little wonton. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The pork's like really sweet and crispy and tender and at the same time. It's really tasty. And the noodles are just like fried in oil and they're really, really good. Let's give this one ton a try. Oh, it's like pork and shrimp and the casing is really, really light. The pork tastes like, like a honey roast ham. Oh, that's good. I like that. I'm gonna try these which are like deep fried prawns in wrapped in a noodle as a sauce. It's the noodles all crispy. And then this is some sweet chili sauce. Um Yeah, it's not it's not very good. I expected it to be hot. It's not. Yeah, that's a thumbs down for me. So just across from the new noodle place was this pork satay which caught my eye and they're grilling it on the barbecue and I got a small portion and you get like 10 pieces and I also got some bread because I mean who doesn't like a nice bit of white bread and you can dip it in the satay and come separately. Mm. Oh the satay is like super peanutty but also like a little bit sweet which is different to what I usually have. Really really good, the pork's really tender. Oh, I definitely recommend this. Okay, so I've come to this place on Yarrawat Road and I walked past it and it had loads of Michelin guides. It's obviously featured in the Michelin uh, restaurant review. And I've gone for Chinese noodle pork soup. And, ooh, the noodles are all like kind of flat and curly, which is interesting. And it's got big, big chunky bits of pork. It's a bit hot for me for soup, but Michelin guy thought we'd give it a try. Okay, let's try it. Mm. The pork's really tender. We've got crispy bits right on the top. 
and the soup's really, really peppery. Let's try a bit of noodle. Oh, well, I can't pick it up. Mmm, it's really different because it's like rolled, not like a normal noodle. Okay, so I walked past so many people in the street with these big bowls with what looked like squid in and I thought, where did they get them from? And eventually I found the stall and it's like barbecue squid and then inside it's like a sauce and it smells of chilli, sweet chilli, it's got coriander. She asked me if I like it spicy but I hope it's not too spicy. So let's give it a try, Some squid. Cheery for me. Uh, the tentacles are quite crunchy though, which is really nice. This sauce is really tasty though. It's like a Thai sweet chili sauce. It really tastes the, um, the chili in it, but it tastes a little bit sweet. The sauce is good. I think the squid's a little bit overdone for me, but overall, as a package, it's really tasty. Through the middle of Chinatown is a big street called Yarrawat Road. Now this is the epicenter of Chinatown and it has loads of little streets that go off it. This street is really noisy, it's really busy but it's really vibrant and full of life. If it gets too much for you take any of the streets and you'll find a quieter more local life with loads of street food options as well. So the last thing I ate was a little bit spicy, so I wanted to try something refreshing. We came across this dessert stand. Everybody was ordering this water chestnut one, so I thought, okay, I'll give that a go. So it's water chestnuts in coconut milk. I've never seen a water chestnut be pink before, but let's give it a try. It's really weird. The water chestnut is like inside like a pink jelly. It's a bit weird and I've had anything like that before. It's not bad, but it, it's just, it's just a bit strange. So I read about these things online and then I saw loads of people with these little yellow boxes and I was like, What's in those yellow boxes? And then I found the store. And basically, it's like a bread bun and it's grilled. So it's a bit crispy on the outside. It's really soft in the middle. You can get different flavors inside. I obviously went for chocolate. Look at that. Oh my God, this is gonna go all over me. Oh my God. I'm covered in chocolate. It's so good. It's like a, a bread bun literally filled with Nutella. Oh my God, this is amazing. So I've gone for some vegetarian spring rolls because um, I saw this little old lady selling them and she looked really sad and I thought, I want to go give her some money and buy some of her food. They look a little bit greasy. I hope they're better than those prawn things that I ate. Mm. Well, they're warm. So that's good. They're tasty. They're a little bit greasy for me, but they're tasty. In the day, this area is full of hustle and bustle, but in the nighttime is when it truly comes alive. The lights, the people, the smell of all that amazing street food is a wonderful mix for all the senses. That really does remind me of China because everywhere you go in China, you can always smell amazing food. One thing that I don't like, however, is the fact that there's this really busy road going through it and so many cars. Personally, I feel like it should be pedestrianized, but obviously that's not able to happen. I really 
enjoyed coming to Bangkok's Chinatown tonight. It's been really fun. It's such a vibrant place, which is full of life. Is it the same as China? Well, maybe not, but it's not China. We're in Thailand. What I love about this place is the fact that the Chinese and the Thai culture mix so seamlessly. If you're coming to Bangkok, I would really recommend coming to Chinatown and exploring it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you want to try in the comments. And if you don't already, then hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.